The many calls put forward by the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, while presenting its 2019 elections emerging business risk and opportunities to President Mamadjubari's second term. The president of the chamber, Babatunde Rusawe, explained the protectionist policies of the federal government in form of heavy tariffs in position of up to 50% on wheat import has continued to affect millers in the country. LCCI president noted that apart from high prices being transferred to the final consumers of bread and the related products, the high tariff may likely trigger a clash between the U.S. and Nigeria in the near future. We need to encourage commercial banks to increase lending to SMEs, but this can only be achieved if there is an effective credit guarantee in the risk lending to the sector. Credit guarantee scheme for MSMEs will promote lending and provide guarantee of loan repayment. We would like to draw attention to the numerous abandoned federal government properties in Lagos. We are worried about the economic and security implications. Some of these properties include CBN properties, old federal secretariat, old national complex, national assembly complex at the Chapaba River Square, independence building that used to house the Ministry of and former Ministry of Command, Ministry of Defense and former Ministry of Command at the Tinubu Square. Beyond the economic waste that this situation represents, some of them serve as hideouts for criminals and misfits.